All right, giant growers, we are going to go over tomato germination today. The tomato seeds are awfully tough, in some cases, to get to sprout. So I'm going to show you a way that I have quite a good success rate. Uh, nothing's perfect, but it's uh, I think it's better than normal. So first off, we're going to start with a heat mat. Very, very important. You can get these everywhere. They're just 10 by 20s. Little plant heat mat. Not a big deal. Um, important part is this little uh, device here, and this will control the temperature. So this heat mat, we are going to plug into the little heat controller there. And then this will get plugged into the power source. Put that out there. All right, got it plugged in. Now we're gonna set it. And I like to get it up into the 80s. Usually 85, 86 isn't a bad number. So now that's controlled and it's gonna be controlled based off of this sensor right here. So this sensor is going to go in and this is what I use. I know some of you are gonna laugh because you think these things are horrible, but you know what? All I need them to do is sprout. Then I can get them into containers where they will then grow. Um, some of you think that the you know, this film restricts the roots. Well, I grew my nine pounder with this, my nine pound tomato, and this was completely irrelevant to the whole thing. At the end of the year, I pulled it up. I did find the little bit around it, but the roots went right through it and so many more, just millions of roots were beyond it. So this is really a non-issue. Um, and it, I think it, it helps you start it in a very um, controlled and uh, more reliable way than some of the other methods out there. But you know what? To each their own, if you have success a different way, by all means, go that route. This is just one way of growing giant tomatoes. And the most important part here is trying to get that seed to germinate. So next we have, we have the, we, once these fill up, I'll actually stick it in the dirt and then that will then read the temperature and it will bring it up to the correct level. Now the next part is getting the water in here and um, causing the cocoa core to rise. to show you how to plant and germinate giant tomato seeds there's a little bit of a method I do um, and I think it's a it's a decent one um, how it works is I get a dry paper towel like you see here um, I'll point with this toothpick because that's another thing I'm going to use is the toothpick so toothpick dry paper towel and then you can see a wet paper towel so what we're going to do is we're going to take a very expensive seed in fact a $50 seed from the official world record all right so we're going to take that, we're going to put it onto the, see if we can get it out here, there it is. All right, so now what I like to do just to make this work right is to dab my, let's get it here, my toothpick in this, in this wet, uh, paper towel you see right off to the side here 
I normally don't have them this close, but so I dab that. That's going to make this so that it will pick this up no problem. So then I'm going to then come over and I'm going to pick out where I want this seed. I'll put it right here. And what I want you guys to notice, let's see if I can get close enough. Did you see that? It's already fully soaked, which means we don't have to soak it. We just simply have to put it into the little peat pots here, the peat pellets, I should say. That entire seed is now fully soaked within literally a second or two. And now the germination process is beginning because the heat mat is about 80 degrees. So these peat pots are nice and warm, or these peat pellets are nice and warm. So this is, the, the entire process has now begun. So now what I'm gonna do, I can use my finger or I can just use this toothpick. And I know that that's about the depth I want it. You can push it down a little more if you want. I want a nice quarter inch. Now that's very important, the quarter inch is important because that seed has to push up. And if that seed pushes up through this quarter inch of peat or cocoa core, whatever you use, that is now going to make it a very strong seed. If this does not come up within you know, three to five to seven, even 10 days, then it's probably not a very aggressive seed. And I don't even want it in my patch anyways. Remember, I'm going for giant tomatoes. I want the biggest, the strongest, the best. And this is the beginning process of it. So covering it with this, with this um, about a quarter inch deep and in these little peat pots here, as you can see, um, and then marking and recording it. So I recorded um, on my sheet and how I keep my sheet is gonna have number one, number six, number 12 on the end there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six across. And then my sheet will then have every tomato that I put on here. One through six, you can see the top, one through six, and then one through 12. That way I know what seed is where, and once they germinate, I'm gonna get them potted up anyways and give them their own official um, sticker onto their pot. So that shows you kinda how I do it. Let's do a couple more here, let's do Actually, let's jump over to, this is the European giant, um, giant pepper. I'm going to put some of these back. The reason why I use a dry paper towel is if I happen to get anything wet here, I can the paper towel will absorb it. So when I'm using this, and if there's any dirt on it, I get it off. But now it's wet. So then again, come over here. See that? Nice and easy. I'm gonna bring it up here. Put it right down there. And again, let's get out of the light a little bit, but this, uh, this seed here, even though it's a pepper seed, this will be completely inundated with water in just a few seconds. We'll cover that up about a quarter inch, and that one's set. You should see it pop here. 
it's a pepper so it'll probably take longer I'd say seven maybe even as much as 14 days uh, maybe even a little longer sometimes those peppers can go a long time but very very simple so you know again back here make sure it's wet grab it this is a very easy way to oops very easy way huh need a little more water there to move them from the packages and the paper towel to the peat pellets and get them all put in. Now, you can use your fingers. Um, it's not a big deal. In fact, if I, if I take this, let's, let's take... All right, so I have these two so far, so let's put one, one there, come back. I'm just showing you, so you can use your fingers, not a big deal. I'm just showing you with the toothpick in case you want to be a little bit more finite. And you plant them like that. Oops. Got two in that batch. All right, so now I got them planted. Make sure they're marked on the paper. Once they're marked on the paper, I then bury them. That's my method. That way I don't screw anything up. Put them under that quarter inch. And because my fingers are so big, this is where, if I go back to the toothpick here you know I can put that down in the right spot and then I can pull some peat over the top and it just makes it real real simple we want that down far enough so that that seed shell gets shed during the germination process. We do not want a seed shell to come out. If it comes out, that'll cause issues. Oops. And we don't want it to come out. So there, that shows you um, proper planting and germinating of a $50 tomato seed and the European record pepper, or at least a France record pepper. I believe it was a France record pepper, which is pretty cool. Exciting to see what happens. Thanks everyone for watching. Grow them big. Welcome back, giant growers. It's Chris Brown, and the tomatoes are popping. They are coming up. We have the giant tomatoes. You can see there's one there. There's one there. They're just popping up out of the soil. Looks really good. They're doing really good. We're getting a lot of them. In fact, we have several stages. So as we look, these are the ones that are just popping up. Um, in fact, uh, we got a 10, 10 10.46 LaRue right there, right there. Let's see here. I think uh, this one we got a few different ones here. One of these is, uh, this one right here, I think is the 1165 Faust. Um, what I wanted to show you here was, if they're popping up like this, we'll watch this. If this one, uh, if that does not pull its, its shell off, um, I will show you guys how to get it off. Very few come up like that based on the way I, I, I grow them. But, um, you know, it happens every once in a while it happens but a nice little batch here there's probably i probably have at least 30 maybe 35 up um i wanted to show you that obviously just like pumpkins these first leaves here are the cot leaves or the cotyledons. here's the first true leaf coming off this one now if they're a little leggy like this it's not a big deal um because remember i'm not gonna keep these in here that long um they need to be potted up quick and the reason why is look at look at you can see these roots coming out everywhere root root right there root right there root right there 
root right there. There's a root there. Um, these these little peat pellet pots do not hold these roots back. Not from these tomatoes. They come out everywhere all the time. Um, there's nothing there. These aren't like the peat pots. The peat pots hold, hold and restrict roots a little more. These do not. So these will all be planted here in the next couple days. I'll show you a different video on that. But what we'll do when we plant these is we will bring the soil in the new pot right up to here. So then all this will turn into a stem producing roots. So just even that much more in the way of roots. So no big deal. This is a complete success what I'm seeing here. Obviously you're always going to have a few seeds that don't. We're going to give them more time. We're only about seven days in. And like these ones over here that are just popping, we'll give them some time. There's a good chance that all these pop up. I do have a couple of the Sutherland world record um, eggplants or um, in, in this batch. Um, but most of them are giant tomatoes. Uh, so next video we'll do the we'll do the potting up. I'll show you how to do that and a few things to add to it. Thank you so much guys. Like subscribe. Lots of videos coming out this summer and grow them big.